In this video, we demonstrate bubble sets, a method for revealing set relations with ISO contours over existing visualizations. In this work, we focus on set membership relations which are independent of other relations in a dataset. Our method visualizes set relations atop existing visualizations without modifying any meaningful spatial layout. We've applied bubble sets to several example applications for which the spatial layout carries meaning separate from the set relation. Here we see a timeline, populated with icons representing InfoViz publications related to visualizing communication. The vertical arrangement is determined by a force-directed algorithm to enhance set density. The individual sets represent different subcategories of data. For example, visualizations of document content are shown in orange. This prototype is interactive, allowing for a deeper exploration of the data by clicking a node to reveal a larger image or the abstract. Double-clicking retrieves the original document. When nodes are enlarged, adjacent nodes move away to remain at least partially visible. The prototype allows for interactive adjustments of the set membership. By right-clicking a set, it becomes activated. Then, by right-clicking items, they can be added or removed from the set. Bubble sets remain connected over arbitrary distances and around obstacles. Bubble sets are created by first determining an underlying virtual edge collection which invisibly connects set members. The virtual edges are routed around intervening obstacles where possible. Set members and the virtual edges contribute to an energy field, which is used to determine the set boundary. For illustration purposes, I will turn on a visualization of the energy field. Here in red we see positive energy areas, which should be included in the set boundary. Negative energy areas appear in blue. Negative energy contributions from non-set members allow the boundary to be pushed away. Notice the virtual edges connecting items, seen here as linear regions of high positive energy. As an item is moved, the virtual edge set is reconfigured to continuously avoid obstacles. This screen capture was taken in real time. You can see that the resolution of the energy calculation is reduced during animation to maintain interactivity. In a second example, we applied bubble sets to a re-implementation of the famous Gapminder trendalizer visualization. Here we see countries represented by circles with area proportional to their population. The color of the country represents the continent. Items are arranged on a scatter plot of fertility rate on the horizontal axis and life expectancy on the vertical axis. The plot can be animated over time. By adding a bubble set over the items within a continent, we can easily see the extent of the continent within the plot. Additionally, we can find outliers which may have been difficult to discern by color alone due to their small size. Let's watch how Sub-Saharan Africa changes over time. This screen capture was taken in real time on a standard desktop PC. Notice the emergence of outliers such as Rwanda during the genocide near the bottom right, and the well-to-do island nations of Mauritius and Reunion at the upper left. We can also interactively explore the various sets and turn on multiple sets, here comparing North America to Europe. In a third example, we can place bubble sets over a fixed layout, such as a geographical map. In this example, we have pre-populated the map with bubble sets, representing hotels in orange, subway stations in brown, and medical clinics in purple. This map may be useful for a medical professional seeking a convenient hotel for a job-seeking visit to New York. If we discover another hotel we would like to add to the map, it can be added by first activating the hotel set then clicking the location of a new item to add it. Finally, we applied bubble sets to visualize groupings of nodes in a parse tree. 
Here we see a parse tree of an English sentence connected to Chinese words. Using bubble sets, we are able to reveal node groupings within the tree, as well as use hue and saturation to visualize additional metadata about the sets. Note that in this example, no virtual edges are created. Instead, the bubble contour follows the structural edges of the parse tree. In this video, we have presented bubble sets, a method for visualizing set relations over existing visualizations without modifying their spatial layout.